What's up guys, this is Rich again at the Ultra Motorsports Warehouse. We're checking out this 1967 custom resto mod Camaro, okay? Done in hugger orange. This thing's pushing 500 rear wheel horsepower. Uh, B&M slab shift kit, totally custom in every single way. Uh, this thing is a real, real, real nice car, okay? Boyd Coddington wheels. Give you guys a little look here so you can take a look at some of the body lines of this car, how everything lines up. Um, take a look at some of the stuff that kind of just what I look for when I'm looking for a nice car. I look for nice, clean weather stripping, okay, which this car has, all right? Nice, clean door panels, all right? These, these, uh, these door, door panel tops, those get done pretty, pretty crappy sometimes. This one's done real well, okay? Also, we're going to look at how everything lines up. We've got equal door, door gaps everywhere, okay? We have no stone chips. We've got uh, real good-looking chrome everywhere, okay? Good-looking aluminum around the trim pieces. Good-looking... Uh, fit in the trunk area, all right? Real good looking body lines, no stories. The interior of this car, immaculate, okay? All right, looks like a brand new car. Few little custom touches, okay? 1967 Camaro SS, uh, the, or the uh, embroidered floor mats with a 396 motor. This is 396 power, power uh, plant with uh, board 30 over, okay? Dash pad, let's take a look at this dash pad real quick. All right, looking great. Dash pad looks real good. Um, we got the uh, SS scoop hood, okay? Let's take a look at this motor. All right, we'll fire this thing up so you guys can see this thing run a little bit. The motor's completely dressed out, okay? I don't think this car has ever seen water till I washed it, all right? I know the guy that restored it personally. Um, he is a friend of mine. He's a real stickler for detail, and uh, let me tell you everything about this car was done quality. Let's fire this thing up. All right, runs good, idles good. You see it's got the manual or automatic slap shift kit, okay? Take her down into drive and you're just driving your car like you normally would, bump her up uh, in, in a manual mode and you got a six speed slap shift, okay? Some of the cool features of the car, obviously the, the, uh, the gauges in the console. Here's what else, you know, that looks like a period correct radio. Actually, not a uh, not a uh, actual wonder bar. What it is is a aftermarket radio. Works real good. Uh, just looks like it's uh, uh, period correct. So, I mean, are you kidding me? This thing is a monster. All right. This thing is uh, this thing's a sleeper that blows the doors off the Viper or the Corvette when uh, when you're going down the road. Okay. If you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, I'm gonna for you guys that are following this car on the internet, I'm gonna go ahead and post some. Uh, I'm gonna post some uh, pictures of the underbody, but this is just a real quality piece. Okay, they didn't cut corners anywhere in this car. I think personally, I think personally it would cost forty-five thousand uh, dollars minimum. Not to mention, uh, you know, time and energy. It's gonna cost cost that much to to duplicate this vehicle. So. Um, vehicle is available on our website right now. The asking price is $35,000. Um, go to ultramotors.net if you have any questions. You can get our contact information. My name is Rich. Please feel free to call me at any time and, uh, and I can get all your questions answered for you. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you.